Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Black Ops Cold War video, guys. Today, this is my second attempt at recording this video. I don't know why, what happened, but I recorded the whole video. I was talking about some pretty cool stuff, which I'll talk about now. But then, like, I went to edit it, and literally the whole video was just, like, so choppy. It's kind of scary. I don't know why that happened. I restarted my computer. I still can't figure out why that happened. Hopefully, it doesn't happen again, because I, I don't know, like, what even caused it. And if it does happen again... My oh my. I mean, but if you're watching this video, then we're obviously good to go. Let's hop into a video and talk about how League Play, I truly think. So, real quick, let me start by saying I'm recording this video early. I'm recording a Sunday night rather than Monday. So, you guys might already have League Play. But I'm just going to talk about my idea on how I think League Play is going to save skill-based matchmaking for the rest of us. Let's hop into a game right now. All right. So, I joined a game late, which is very annoying. I don't know why I'm joining games halfway through. But it is what it is. We can still talk about my theory on how... Oh, this game is so loud in my ears right now. Oh, there's a guy in the middle of the middle of the train over here. Is it with I thought I'd seen a sentry and I don't know why. But am I recording? I am indeed recording. So, I have a theory on how skill-based matchmaking is going to help... Oh, I didn't even see that. Help, see him. Help your skill-based matchmaking. Lead is going to help skill-based matchmaking is what I'm trying to say. I'm very tired. I wanted this video to be done the first time I recorded it. But I guess I'll capture C's since no one else is. So basically, my theory is that in this game, as far as we know, each playlist, like if you go to Express 24-7, or you do Hardpoint, or you do Domination, if you do Free For All, Search and Destroy, each one of them have their own... Oh boy, I suck at this game. I don't... I don't know. I am so tired. I, um... Be, I'm beyond ready for bed. As a matter of fact, I was gonna go to bed, but then I thought, let me just start editing the video now before I go to bed, so then in the morning, I, I don't have to do it. And i seen the issues, so now I'm just like, past ready for bed, doing another one, but it is what it is. So my theory, or I'm pretty sure like what everyone knows, or like what we all think is happening, is that every playlist has its own skill-based matchmaking. So, what if you're someone like me, and you're gonna play League Play 99% of the time? Right, so you're gonna have skill-based matchmaking in League Play, which is what we want. We want there to be skill-based matchmaking within League Play, you know, it's a rank system. But therefore, if you play that all the time, then the few times you... Oh no, I wanted to shot punch you. Don't let me still win that. Oh, how, how did... I tried to shot punch you too. I tried so hard to shot punch them both and I can't. Let's see if we can get them this time. Okay, my teammate just got him. But, what if you play League Play 99% of the time, so then your skill-based matchmaking is technically... Like, does it get lower if you're not playing a game mode? And because my thought process there is that they're going to see that you're not playing, like, whatever your game mode normally is, like Team Deathmatch or Hardpoint or Domination. They're going to see that you're not really playing it as much anymore, which they don't want to see. And so maybe they're like, all right, let's make his, his or her skill-based matchmaking lower while in this game mode. Because while in this game mode, we want, you know, the few times they play it, we want it to be a good time. So then maybe they'll keep playing it. That's kind of like my idea. So if you play League Play all the time, you're having a great time, then you hop on, you know, it's the end of the night, and you want to hop on to, like, Express 24-7 in the night, you didn't get to play enough, enough Express Search and Destroy, which I hope they do have in League Play, by the way. I hope that they'll give us Express Search and Destroy. But you didn't get to play enough of it, so you hop on Express 24-7. Oh, I tried to throw a trophy system and accidentally hit ping. So then they make it so your score, skill-based matchmaking, your SBMM, is lower than normal for that like one or two games like you know what i'm saying like for me for instance where this idea came from the last time i was recording this video that you guys will unfortunately never see is i was saying how like i play these games like once once a night or once a day like to record a video the only like otherwise when i'm the other the only other time i'm playing is for during like my three or four nights a week when we're streaming and I'll play like a three hour session with my friends. So what I was saying is the last time I played Express 24 seven, I was in a three hour session with my friends having a good time. And so of course our score per minute, skill based matchmaking is much higher when you're playing with your friends. Like you're having a good time, you're communicating this and that. And so when I play solo Express now, ex like Express 24 seven, my score per minute is so, I thought I heard him, but I wasn't hundred percent sure. Oh, he shot my body. But my score per minute is much higher because I had just, like, the last time I played this, it was so high compared to what it is right now. So, like, I'm playing in, like, like cracked out lobbies, basically. So, my idea is, like, if we're, if I'm playing League Play all day long, and then, like, I, like you know, the next day, I wake up in the morning, I want to record a YouTube video like I'm doing right now. Will my skill-based matchmaking lobby be an easier one? Because... Like, I'm not playing, like, Hardpoint or Domination or anything like that. Like, I'm playing other things. I just seen so many people at once. I didn't know which one to aim at. And that was a guy right above me. 
Where where is he? Where do I hear this guy? Okay, just, that's my teammate behind me. I just heard someone, but I don't know where he's at. I don't know where. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna keep moving. This game's done anyway. We're getting schmoked here. Oh, another thing, real quick before this video ends, I I will say I already put it on Twitter and everything. I am officially grinding for Carnage. If you follow me on Twitter or you're in my Discord, you already know the reason why. But I'm gonna tell you guys now. Basically, I want to like find a team, which is Carnage. Like I've been like watching them for so long, and I always just enjoyed like watching their content. I never thought I was like like a good enough content creator to join Carnage. And now, like, I'm not saying I'm a good enough co content creator, but I am significantly better than what I was. And so my idea is I want to grind for a team like them that's actually hard to get into. Like, you actually really have to grind for it to make it feel like it's worth it if slash when I do ever get into it. So that's something pretty exciting I get to look forward to. Another thing I get to look forward to is uh, on the 18th, I'm finally getting all four of my wisdom teeth taken out so I can finally stop taking ibuprofen every day. So I have to take ibuprofen for one, for the pain, because my mouth is in severe pain and I try to make these YouTube videos and streams all the time. So I'm constantly talking, so that makes it worse. And then also it is constantly like inflamed, like swollen, like my mouth is always swollen if I don't take an ibuprofen. So finally on the 18th, I'm gonna get my wisdom teeth taken out and then also like I, I believe I said at the beginning of this video, I am five subscribers at the time of you recording this video, five subscribers away from 700 subs on YouTube. Can we also take a moment to look at this optic gaming like operator? I mean, geez Louise, let me just go ahead and do a quick ad for my boys over at optic Chicago. I mean, look at this. There's the, there's the NATO or whatever. And then here's Warsaw, you know, the, the away team or home team. I don't know which one's supposed to be away or supposed to be home. Oh, you can actually see right here. There's a, oh, why is it showing Atlanta phase, dude? Come on, next. LA, come on, you're not going to show me optic, whatever, dude. And then we also get these amazing skins. Now, I know a lot of people complain that these aren't that cool. They're definitely not the same ones that we have in previous, but they're still nice, okay? I love it. I just, I'm just happy to finally be rocked in optic. So here is the camo. And then we have the accessory, which is the shoes, which I don't really get it. I mean, I know a lot of them are sneaker heads. But I'm like kind of confused. It's like the shoes and not like, I don't know, like maybe a trophy or maybe just like the Optic Gaming logo as a as a thing. That'd be that'd have been kind of cool. Uh, and then we have all the stickers on, which I love. And I also have it on the M4 here. I mean, dude, I'm rocking this over. I'm rocking this over Dark Matter. Didn't I do stuff Dark Matter on? It's weird. as look right there. You can see. Oh wait, you seen it? Like it just showed Dark Matter Magnums. Now it shows Diamond Magnums. And when I go over here to appearance, oh wait, no, that one, that one is on Diamond. Let's see what we'll do for these. Aren't wait right there. See, look now it says dark matter. It was just on. Hold on. Okay, ready? Dark matter. Go over here and diamond again. What is happening? This is weird. I don't know. I'm getting distracted. I am beyond tired. That is gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, maybe by the time this video before the video even comes out, I'll be at 700 subscribers. But regardless, right now, if you guys could, you know, leave a like, comment down below how your day is going, share this to your friends, help me get to 700 subscribers. Thank you so much for all the support recently and also for all the people who keep commenting on my youtube shorts and tiktoks that i'm a jerk or my friends are jerks we're all just having a good time those clips are taken out of context and people who watch them all the time know that we're being funny but some people have been really sensitive in the comments and attacking me and or my friends we're just having a good time so you don't you don't gotta worry about it all right let's just all just relax thank you guys for hanging out I'll see you later goodbye